Today we're basically interdicting boats and denying the enemy use of the waterways and trying to shut down any uh, smuggling of weapons or narcotics uh, going through the river. On our way back to get picked up at one of our launch sites, uh, we took contact um, on the beach and on the boats. It's coming fast, but you got to make sure you know when to slow down and. Make sure no one gets hurt. Uh, safety's number one and just being in that right position. There's a lot of training that goes into uh, finalizing what we do and what we did today. Watching all the pieces come together and seeing all that training that we've been doing and seeing it work and, and do what we know we can do. The takeaway is we see what, where we're at, and we know that we can go fight the fight now in uh, the global war on terrorism or wherever the Navy wants to send us. Everybody's pretty tight. Most of the guys deployed together uh, multiple times. Uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty tight-knit group. Kraken main, Kraken bus, stand by for a contact report. Being at Riveron's, uh, it's kind of like an adventure every day. Nothing's ever the same. This is very exciting for the Riverine Force and uh, all three squadrons put together. Yeah, today is a high value asset mission. During restricted maneuvering for bigger vessels, they have a harder time of actually defending themselves. So they, they send smaller, more maneuverable boats like uh, the RCB here. They have a really hard time maneuvering, so if craft quicker, maybe a little bit smaller, can get into the areas where they cannot defend themselves, that's what we're there for.